Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Daily. This is going to be BSL Hasu League round of 32 Group C winners match. The other player who I do not have replays of is uh, I Love XTO, who made it very, very deep. I'm trying to remember if it was last season or the season before last, but certainly made a round of four appearance. Tucson starting upper left-hand corner as the red Terran bottom left-hand corner. We have got Veliger as the blue Protoss. Veliger is one of the few guys they do not recognize. He is a Polish Protoss player. And I will say that a lot of the guys from Poland, that is <clears throat> pound for pound, Poland outperforms basically every other region de facto. And I'm not sure that a lot of people will disagree with that. You got Bonneth, you got Zero, you got uh, Julia, I think. You got a, a, just a really, really strong cast of players from Poland. So per, per population capita and quality of player that output and also involvement, out there, uh, Poland really does amazing things for the Broodwork community. This is going to be on Shooting Break, interestingly enough, kind of an odd map altogether. In base pylon to start. So yeah, we got Julia, AKA Blackman, I should say, AKA Julian, who was banned for, <laughs> is known for being a little bit off the cuff. I, I won't talk about him because it's not relevant to this cast altogether, but he's a, he's a good Zerg player. He's on Twitch. You should check him out. Blackman PL for Poland. Uh, and he's, yeah, he plays a lot of good StarCraft. Anyway, first scout from Velger, upper left-hand corner. It looks like we are seeing a barrack constructed, but are we going to see the gas deal to follow it up? Might have an opportunity to do so. The minerals are there, but a nice little blockade from Tucson with that SCV. And it looks like recognizing the gas deal is not in place. Going to go ahead and back off, but we've got another sneaky probe up here. Look at this. So this looks like is a textbook DT drop location. And the probe still, look at the, also Veliger hanging out here at the natural expansion, giving Tucson the runaround as though, yep, nope, don't worry about me and just go about your scouting pattern. Don't bother checking this upper ramp area. So we're gonna see a pylon drop at that nine o'clock location. I assume a DT follow. And we've got the cybernetic score warping in. If the cybernetic core spins as soon, the question is the timing of all this now. And keep in mind, this is two probes that are that are outside of the mineral line, which means it's going to be delayed mining for quite some time. The probe now wandering in, still only a single SCV. Maybe it was so, so it was transmitting. Okay, I want to block your natural expansion potentially, but going in, confirming that it's a factory build. The marine going to go ahead and chase it out. The pylon now on the way behind this. And Tucson initially acting like he was moving out, but sneaking right back in. And really what he wants to confirm is, is that he sees a spin here on the cybernetic score. So initial dart in, he can go for one more uh, dash in and out maneuver here. And really that the trick is, is, is he going to see that cybernetic score spinning? And look at this, the greed, despite that SCV being outside the natural expansion, Citadel, the Citadel of Adun getting dropped Oh, man. Getting dropped instead. Dragoon being built halfway. And now Tucson moving in. Fake range. I don't know if he saw that start late or not. But Tucson moving up, dropping that command center. So now weapons one being researched. Fake weapons one to... It costs less and it gives the impression... But okay, yeah, I was actually going for Dragoon range here. The Dragoon's still not... Okay, never mind. The Dragoon is out. I was about to say, did he cancel the Dragoon on top of that? To try to make it all the... More timing. And you can see Tucson still... I think he might smell something. He's he's hanging out with this. I'm waiting to see whether we see an engineering bay. We see the machine shop drop. Single Vulture is making its way out. Able to get that probe. Let's see if it hunts out and starts looking for additional stuff. Because we have the Templar archives. We got the gateway here. And it looks like... Maybe without a robotic facility, we're going to just see uh, a press from there. The Vulture winding its way. The Dragoon blockading that ramp. Should see cancellation of the uh, weapons range to go ahead and reclimate that gas to get some more Dark Templar potentially out in the field. Now, the follow-up question is, is, so we got a bunker constructing. We have some Vultures. We already have, we already have a Starport building for Tucson. This is disastrous. So Tucson was thinking, okay, I'm going to go for a Vulture drop to counter this. Veliger moving those Dragoons to the front to box out information as though he were dropping. And he's going for three gateways to follow. But it looks like the SCV did... Okay, he did sniff it out. So he, able to find 
the base top left. He needs an engineering bay ASAP. He's got it spotted. He's researching mines. That will be too late unless he just has a massive amount of clutter on the front because I don't know if he realizes how quick this DT is coming at him. The Dark Templar is already marching towards the front and we've got no form. Yeah, it looks like a double engineering bay, etc., being dropped to try to negate the Dark Templar's path to be able to get into the main. And that's Tucson, but it's not enough. That doodad on the left is walkable. So now additional units being killed and this should be GG. Maybe Tucson can still fight it out. Where's the engineering bay? The engineering bay uh, being built here, bottom left hand corner. If that Dark Templar just makes a B line right here, He's working on the SCV line right this second. He needs to go ahead and start working on that SCV, trying to build the engineering bay. It looks like he doesn't spot it. Full pull up from Tucson. So Tucson actually doing a decent job of defending this. Unfortunately, because of the way this pull works, they end up pulling to the wrong location. More DTs making their way in. So now we got three DTs. Is this one not gonna, that one's working on the bunker. Some mines have been dropped. Dark Templar has taken a good amount of hits. One of them gone, a second one up, and we do have a turret being constructed. Pretty solid defense, but we do have a lot of SCV hits thus far. Is that even going to finish? It looks like potentially not. Although I got to say, this has been a heroic defense thus far from Tucson to kill the DTs that he's managed and not to... And the fact that he didn't end up losing Engineering Bay, etc. But it looks like this is still going to be game regardless because he's down to 14 SCVs now. Nice splash damage to, from Veliger to go ahead and wipe out some additional SCVs. So yeah, he managed to clear that out, but there's still more DTs wandering around. Looks like that natural expansion's breached. We got, what, 12 SCVs and now a Zealot in the main with a Vulture a ways away. A ways away. And it looks like, uh, according to Twitch chat, now that I'm looking across, I'll, I might have to give a correction to Julia's actual Twitch account, which I'll do in the next game. But hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Oh, I also had the wrong names up. Apologies. Should have had a Veliger there. I forgot I got the new uh, fancy overlays. So appreciate that. Apologies for the small mistakes. We'll keep moving on though. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.